How's it going guys? My name is Doomsday Peppers and on this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to do a double mag reload animation which is a simple trick and it shouldn't be that hard to accomplish honestly and I'm starting off with a view model because by this point I am assuming that you already have a view model set up but I don't have my view model rigged I mean all I have is just a gun that I'm gonna animate and the arms in this bullet which I'll explain why I have that bullet so first thing you want to do is you want to select the mag and then you want to do control D to duplicate there you go I duplicated it and now we're gonna name it something like mag 2 for example and now you'd want to drag it right here and okay for this part you don't really have to insert a bullet but I just want to have a bullet on the second mag, you know, just as an extra detail. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to copy the position of the mag and then select this, paste position. There you go. And then I'm going to just drag it up. And I guess I'm going to put it up. Oh, whoops. I'm going to go like, I'm going to select the bullet and I'm going to drag it a bit back right here. That should be all right. Oh, actually, there we go. All right, that should be good. Now, I want to do well, what I want to do is I'd want to weld the bullet to the mag 2. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select mag 2, Let's go to plugins, go to easy weld, go to parts. And let's just drag it right here. Um, uncheck this because you're not going to animate the bullet. So what you want to do is um, open up the gun. Um, I mean the bullet model. And then you want to select the bullet parts. There you go. And join it in, in place. And there you go. Now it should be welded. And now if we copy the position of the normal mag, you know copy position and then select mag 2 paste the position control V there you go now it's back in the same position that the first mag is now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the bullet right here and I'm gonna just song group it right there and I'm gonna select everything I'm gonna make it so it's not anchored and cannot collide and yeah, I'm just rig and weld it. All right, there you go. I have rigged and welded it correctly. And the reason why I dragged the arms down here and and the gun is because when you first load in as a player, what, what you're going to see is like straight arms, you know, if like, you know, just right here, if, if you haven't posed it, you know, correctly. So that's why you either have two options. You could either pose it how I did it in my previous tutorial or you could just drag it down and like force the just you know around there and when they put it out and you know basically when everything is you know starting to load in for their game they're just gonna see this that's it so it, it's better if you pose it or just drag it down instead of you know just having straight arms because it's gonna look weird so that's why I, I did that anyways what I'm gonna do yep it's at zero point oh no all right yeah, I gotta position it right at the center. Let's take a look. Yep, there it is. Now let's export using the plugin. Go to plugins, go to Blender Animations plugin. Select the rig, export, and then we're gonna hop into Blender. Oh, remember to clean parts, by the way. Alrighty, welcome to Blender. First thing you see is this. And just click out, uh, so select these, and press X to delete. Now, what you want to do? Go to the left corner 
uh, scroll down a bit and you'll find import and then scroll down a little bit right here and go to rbx animations and then find your view model my view model let me see if i can find it right here it's loading in there you go now very first thing you want to do is rebuild rig click ok and there you go and select this hide it using i mean clicking that eye right there and then what you want to do is select the bone go to pose mode and then you want to hide objects that you won't animate and that's it all right now go back to pose mode i mean object mode and then you want to do shift a and then this opens up and then you want to add a camera and there you go got uh, the green button right here um change it to field of view and then set it to a hundred there we go and now you want to go to constraints add a constraint copy location copy rotation and then you want to do underscore rig and fake camera underscore rig and fake camera and then this is how it looks like wow now what you want to do is go to the animation tab click right here press zero and then go to keying right here at the bottom and then you will want to click on um, location and rotation and then click on this little circle right here Boop. and that should be that and now press T and then this opens up and then select everything oh whoops forgot that I have to select the bone there you go go to pose mode and then you select everything and then you press I and then it adds keyframes all right guys so I'm gonna pose this gun real quick so Alrighty fellas, now that I've finished posing, the trick is this, Mac 2, in the very first frame, very very first frame, it has to be at the left bottom corner, or at the right bottom corner if your character is left handed, but since in this case my view model, my character, is right handed, that's why I have Mac 2 at the left bottom corner, because he's gonna grab it with his left arm and basically how it's gonna work is that his left arm is gonna go down here and grab this mag and then basically gonna do this blah 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 gonna go up here knock out that first mag and then insert it with this brand new mag it's simple right so that's why you want to have mag 2 at you know at the bottom off screen basically anywhere that's off screen but usually at the bottom and now I'm gonna animate my reload and animation or tactical I mean I, I haven't decided what I'll do but just animate as usual have mag 2 uh, at off screen Alright, so I finished my animation, and if you're curious how it turned out, this is how it turned out. I'm gonna play it right there, and there it is. So I, I go out the camera, let's go to the first frame right here, and when you look at this, I have Mag 2 at the bottom, off screen, and you can't even see it. Take the left arm, and I drag it down here, touching Mag 2, and then I grab it, you know, drag it back up on screen so it shows that I got a brand new mag that I'm going to replace with this mag that I'm gonna knock out so that's what I do I knock out 
the first mag and it goes flying and then it goes down but where does it go it, it goes right here Ma um, the first mag stays in that position for a few seconds and then once I have the perfect opportunity like right here I teleport this mag back to its original position right there gets teleported and it's already back at its normal first frame position and then I go back to the, to the very first frame that it was see right there let's go back to first person and look at that right there see you can't even see that mag teleporting back to where it was